This cannibalistic monster is one of Batman's greatest foes. Welcome ladies and gentlemen and here we're going to be doing the origins of Waylon Jones aka Killer Croc. Waylon Jones must be apprehended. Let this place sink and everyone with it. You've got no idea. So Waylon Jones was born with a condition that gave him a thick scaly hide and razor sharp claws and teeth. As a child, he was relentlessly bullied because of his monstrous appearance. When he was only eight years old, he snapped and almost killed one of his schoolyard tormentors. For that little incident, he spent the next eight years of his life in reform school. He didn't like that much. Over this time, his contempt for humanity grew, and so did his body mutating to grotesque proportions and becoming increasingly reptilian in appearance. The now sociopathic Waylon Jones celebrated his 18th birthday by becoming a cold-blooded murderer. He served 20 years for that crime and emerged from jail to join a traveling carnival. He quickly became the main attraction as the alligator wrestler Killer Croc. It is worth nothing that it was here that Croc found, first found a home and developed a niche for his heretofore ghastly appearance. The circus and its inhabitants became Wayland's family and had the circus been able to maintain financially afloat, who knows if Wayland would then have turned to organized crime after all. In time, Wayland would turn away from petty crime and Croc's ambitions and travels led him to Gotham where he began to forge a criminal empire to make a new home. Though rising to prominence by the elimination of other mob members, was accomplished quickly, his com complete dominion over Gotham was foiled by its native guardian. His attempts to set up shop were repeatedly thwarted by Batman, but Waylon's ability to adapt have allowed him to carry on for many years. In the New 52, much like his pre-Flashpoint incarnation, Waylon Jones was born with a rare condition that gave him scaly skin. He scrubbed daily to try and get the scales off to try and be normal but he decided to give up because of the pain it gave him when he described or descaled himself. He grew up to become the Killer Croc and worked for the Gotham Circus. He was paid to rustle crocodiles, but his boss kept him most of the money. Furious by his boss's foolish choice, Killer Croc bit his arm off. After being apprehended by the GCPD, he listened to two police officers joke about him, saying that they would stop that he should stop while he's ahead and to get henchmen. Killer Croc took this to the heart. He stopped being the muscle-headed brute and became more of a thinker. He gathered henchmen who are really just homeless people that worship Croc for taking them in. Killer Croc now rules all of the sewers in Gotham and with his own personal army. And Killer Croc is going to be brought to life on the big screen in DC's and Warner Brothers Suicide Squad as being part of Task Force X. So are you a fan of Killer Croc? Let me know in the comments below and of course as always I will see you all next time.